I've been telling preppers who've gotten robbed, you have to protect your stash. Look, so this device right here is one of the most important developments I believe that the security industry has ever made. Um, the problem is that most companies do not offer it because it takes some additional technical skills. You have to roll it out to your salespeople or you have to roll it out to your installers and you have to make people understand how this works. And a lot of companies just are not offering it. So in a previous video, I mentioned something about geocaching. Uh, if you don't know what geocaching is very quickly, it's where you'll take your, your prepping stuff, okay? And this, is, this video today is not about geocaching, but it's about something much bigger than that. But a lot of people will take their stash, whether it's in a uh, Pelican case or an old military, waterproof military case, they'll bury stuff in it, and then they will cache their stuff along highways or roads or interstates, bury it in the event that there is an SHTF or a meltdown scenario. I swear to God, people do this. I do not. I don't subscribe to that. I do. I am of the train of thought that most people need to bug in. Uh, however, if you need to bug out, then you need to have something with this in about 40 miles or 40 minutes of where you live. So we may have different theories on that. Hey, and if you feel differently, just, you know, tell us why below. This is an open discussion, right? But I'm here to discuss today caching of some serious equipment and people who've gotten robbed. So I'm going to tell you about a friend of mine. Uh, no names, no names. But you'll know who you are if you watch the video. Uh, bought some property in the mountains in East Tennessee. It was a newly cut road, newly co cut road, literally went up. I mean, there are mountains, in, we can call them mountains in Tennessee. I think the Rocky Mountains are the real mountains. I live in Tennessee, but you know, East Tennessee's got some beautiful, we'll call them mountains, hills. Big hills, small mountains. Uh, but there was a, it was five acres, it, it is five acres, freshly cut up the side of a mountain. What they did is they bought a camper and they took the camper, no facilities on, on, the, on the site yet. They took the camper, they put their camper up the hill. They said it was very difficult even to get up there. Like, I, I, don't, I haven't seen it, don't know. But then they left some stash there. And I don't know what all was in in the stash. I know there was some food and some supplies. I don't know how much medical. I don't know about ammo or guns. I doubt they left ammo or guns. They're, they're pretty smart people. Um, other than what I'm getting ready to tell you, they are smart people. They're, they're great people. But they made a mistake, and that is if you have an unmanned, unattended, unwatched uh, cache of valuable stuff, people are going to find out about it. I mean, kids go down the end of trails to go to school around um, hunters walk across things and get curious, and they're just regular old thieves out there looking for your stuff. They're going to steal your stuff if they find it. So somebody got into their, their uh, it's not an RV, it was a, it's a camper. Somebody got into their camper, stole their stuff, and then they're left high and dry. And so there was no notification, no warning, nothing available that they had put on this camper to notify them if someone got there. And this is where a lot of security companies fall very, uh, fairly short. Now, I'm going to put this back, back up there again. We are one of the only companies in the U.S. that I know of that offers this piece of equipment. And it works whether you have a tractor that's on some property somewhere else, if you have a cache of goods that's either in the ground or in a camper somewhere else, you have a vacation home that you want to monitor or watch if somebody goes in but you don't want to pay for a full security system cost is a big deal right you don't pay another you know 30 to 40 bucks a month for a security system you don't want to outlay a thousand dollars and so um and there's other people right some have barns they've converted barns to into other uh not a full domicile but they've converted barns into places where they cache stuff away it may be on a different piece of property attached to where they are but people have put sometimes hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of guns, ammo, and stuff, and it's not watched. And the reason it's not watched is because there's no power to those locations. Now there is a fix. So again, this device is a GSM cellular device, which has almost no geographic boundaries. Now, it's stronger than a cell phone signal. It does pinging every few minutes. Hold on. I don't want to talk. I don't want to talk geek. I don't want to geek talk. What the device does is it watches kind of like a motion sensor. Okay? Contact has to be broken, but it works kind of like a motion sensor. If I've got a home in Tennessee 
and I want to watch my cabin or my camper in Montana because I'm thinking somebody's going to go steal my stuff, I can literally put a sensor on my cabin in Montana as long as I have a cell signal. You have to have a cell signal. But I can put that cabin in Montana in for about 10 bucks a month and about $150 to start off with, I can fully functionally watch that from my phone, from my computer. I can get notifications if it's open. And the battery lasts for a long, long, like a three-year battery. So hopefully you're checking on your cache more than once every three years. But it's a great solution for those of you who are thinking, hey, you know, I, uh, I'm gonna, I am want to put all my stuff on the side of the hill in a camper that's in East Tennessee that's five hours away. I'm going... Oh my gosh. So be smart. Be smart about what you choose. Be smart about what you do. And uh, I'm going to put the link to this device below. Uh, the device must go with a security system. So if you have a home security system from us or any other, if you don't like us, you don't like my channel, you think we're whatever, uh, find a company that has a Qolsys security system and ask them if they will offer or support this device because it is one of the best breakthroughs the security system has, the security industry has ever seen. I've been doing it, man, I'm getting old, 20 years. I've been doing this 20 years now. And uh, learn something new all the time. Cool stuff keeps coming out. Do us a favor, would you please? Like and subscribe. We're coming out with some great information and I've got another video coming up on the basic necessities that preppers need.